guys, it's Chloe, and I'm here with one of the stars of The Real Housewives of Miami, Karen Sierra. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me, Chloe. I'm excited to be here. Yes, all right, well, we have to get down to business, but yes. first I have to ask you, you have gotten some heat for your name, Karen T with a T. Some of the girls have made fun of you for that. You know what? I have no idea why they would make fun, but once again, they just find any reason to want to criticize, and I was given my name by my mom, and I'm very proud of it. I, I love, love it. it. No, Thank seriously, you. when people mispronounce my name, Chloe, you would be shocked at the different ways <laughs> that people say it. Kahol, it's like very strange. No, seriously. I, I have a story about a birthday cake once, and I'll leave it at that. All right, <laughs> but, you know, Rodolfo, he has yes. been kind of an ongoing theme this season, and the women at some point decide to tell you that they believe that he has been cheating on you. How do you feel about the way that they did it? Well, you know what, I think, unfortunately, it's, it was a very sad way they did it because they were just enjoying it way too much. You can tell that they plotted the whole time, you know, amongst themselves, or how are we gonna try to embarrass her the most, you know, worst way. And if it was from a friend of mine, let's say Lisa, Joanna, or even Leah, mm -hmm. that had the best of my intentions and really cared about my feelings, I would have taken it more, you know, at heart. But it, it's unfortunate you that- like they were ganging up on you. No, I didn't feel, I knew they were ganging up on me. Right. Now, I wanna know- It was very though, obvious, I think, in the episode. Do you, do you, as a woman, mm -hmm. do you wanna know if someone's cheating on you? Well, I think as a woman, you would definitely want to know. I'm, well, I can't speak for every single woman, but I think, you know, no one likes to be cheated on, no one likes to be betrayed, and it's a very touchy subject. But once again, if you're coming not from a positive place and it's just to maliciously hurt someone, I think that, you know, she should have just kept her mouth shut. And on this episode, you guys went on a trip. It is the first yes. of a two-parter. Uh, tell me a little bit about some of the things that went down and if you felt like you were accurately portrayed in this episode. You know what, I think I was. I think we went with the idea <laughs> that we were gonna go and have this healing trip amongst the women. Bonding. Uh, bonding. Female bonding time. And we had a great time. We were split up, I think, accurately in the rooms, in the houses. I was rooming with Leah, Lisa, and Joanna, mm -hmm. and we were able to pick out, you know, from a from a hat who was gonna get the main room and whatever. And I happened to be lucky enough to get the master bedroom, but of course love Lisa it. butted in. But I love her to death, and we ended up sharing the room. And we actually it showed some nice, you know, airy sides of us, just having fun, us dragging her to her bedroom. Although she didn't stay there, she ended up sleeping with me. So I think they it actually portrayed some nice moments and. Then Leah, you know, complained previous episodes of that she would, you know, all I would do is yak, yak, yak in her ear, and curiously enough, she just wouldn't stop talking to me. So it was some funny, you know, moments in which she's just driving me crazy, and I said, Leah, just shut up. <laughs> and we laughed at it. She was able to understand that it was just, there was humor behind it because she was just driving me crazy. She's just, you know, her voice is, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> so we, we really enjoyed that moment afterwards because I was like, Leah, stop already, you're driving me crazy. Right. All right, now I have to ask you about Alexia. She's not on as much this season due to her son being in the car accident and whatnot, mm -hmm. and I've met her, I like her, but tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you two just can't get along. You know what, it's interesting. I have nothing against her, and I used to see her socially at parties, and I would always make it a point of saying hi. But it gets to a point that if you're always the one that's always reaching 100% and the other person's not giving back, um, what her problem is, I don't know. I've never right. done anything to her. I've only extended olive branches to her when the unfortunate accident of her son had to place. Mm -hmm. Without even being one of her best friends, I made it a point of sending her texts, sending her emails, voicemails, letting her know that you were there, my family and, and yeah. you know my family and myself were were be praying for her and her family, and just some people just you know react certain ways. I can only do what I what is in my heart, right. and I can only pray for her because. I'm sure she knows it's genuine though, because if it's coming from a genuine place, you can normally tell. I'll yes. tell you that much. Now, Rodolfo, are you two still together? No, we are not. Why? Uh, you know what? A lot of things took took place. Um, a lot of doubt, long distance, insecurities, um, lies. It was just a moment that I realized, and sometimes, you know, love is blind, and you realize sometimes. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> oh boy. Sometimes you realize a little later on into a relationship that as much as you want something to happen, 
you can't live in a dream world and you just have to open up your eyes but you need to be ready and that's what people need to understand no matter if your family or friends have the best of intentions you need to be ready to make that moment make that change when you're happy when you've decided i have to ask you what are we going to see in the next part of this episode or the two part of this trip. Well, another thing that you see is unfortunately, talk about timing, you know, talk about drama just accumulating one after the other. It was almost like a domino effect. Uh, the unfortunate incident with my father's health. Mm -hmm. And about two months prior to this Bimini trip taking place, and we had already started filming for the show, my father had problems with his pacemaker in which mm -hmm. they were supposed to replace the whole entire pacemaker and during the surgery they only replaced the battery. Mm -hmm. So while I'm in Bimini, the only time I actually get reception, I mean it was just a stroke of luck as I never had reception inside the house, was when I received a phone call from my mother letting me know that he was rushed to emergency room because his pacemaker was not working. Mm -hmm. And that's when you realize in life what really matters and Alexia and Anna and Adriana wanting to make me look bad and just, you know, their cattiness doesn't matter to me. And that's why I think what's important in life is to choose your own battles. Right. And to me, what's real, what really matters is my family, my family's health. All right, so I'm so happy that I finally got to meet you. Likewise, I've Chloe. heard so much about you, it's Thank about time. <laughs> so if people want to learn more about you, can they follow you on Twitter? Yes, they can. It's at at Karen Sierra, and the Karen does have a T at the end. Yes, don't forget that T. <laughs> and for more of The Real Housewives of Miami, you can tune into Bravo every single Thursday night at 9 p.m. Yes. And don't forget to like the video here, subscribe here, and for more on the latest news, gossip, style, beauty, and more, keep coming back to HollywoodLife.com. Bye. Bye-bye.